Betts is here. It's yep. just like perfect yeah. air show weather. It is. We've had beautiful skies today. Lots of sunshine. Certainly nice. A little cooler. Tomorrow we're going to turn the heat up just a little bit and we'll get a little more humidity in here. We might even have a few thunderstorms to throw into the forecast. So next few hours look amazing. Temperatures trending down into the low 70s, ultimately landing in the upper 60s by the midnight hour. And you can see we still have clear skies. We did have a few little blips that showed up on the radar earlier. Those have faded away. So we're off to a dry evening here. A lot of the thundery weather is off toward the Berg. But boy, it's pretty toasty. 89 still at this hour in Dover, 83 Mansfield, 80 for Ravenna, 76 here in downtown Cleveland. The humidity is pretty thick. We've got dew points that are in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. And when you combine that heat and the humidity, our, it feels like temperatures. That heat index is well into the upper 80s, even some low 90s. Tomorrow, our air temperatures are likely to make it into the low 90s, and so our heat index numbers will likely uh, pop into the mid and upper 90s. The heat extends all the way back to the west. This is some really Really nasty heat that's sitting here in the central plains, but you can see a definitive line, and that is where a cold front uh, is already popping up. Shower and thunderstorm chances. This cold front will be moving through Saturday. So in the meantime, you can see all these little scattered showers that bubble up during the heat of the day. That's what we have on tap for tomorrow. Timing it all out for you. You can see how that front continues to move to the east and out ahead of it. We get some pop up thunderstorm chances tomorrow late afternoon into the evening. Then tomorrow Tomorrow night, what's left of the thunderstorms to the west of us will work their way through, but the front isn't in here yet. The front won't get in here until Saturday afternoon, and that will then push those showers through. We get a break for much of Sunday. You can see Sunday looks pretty good. And then by Monday, that's when we get a really big push of much cooler, much drier air moving in. And Monday looks like it's going to be just phenomenal for us. So for tonight, we will be on the muggy side, mostly clear conditions. Otherwise, temperatures dry dropping back into the upper 60s. We could have a little patchy fog to start your day tomorrow. 93 the anticipated high tomorrow afternoon. If we have more cloud cover, we won't make it there. So we'll say 90 to 93. National Design Mar hour by hour forecast shows those thunderstorm chances beginning to bubble up in the late afternoon hours. Again, they're going to be scattered around the area, but probably something that you're going to need to keep an uh, account of for any Friday night football plans. All right, after those 90s, <laughs> then things back off. We're going to hold rain in the forecast forecast for Saturday as temperatures drop back to around 80 low 80s on Sunday with partly cloudy skies. Now we will have a front moving through on Sunday as well, but I think it comes through dry and that's the reinforcing shot of cooler, drier air that will drop us back into the low 70s for Monday with sunshine and extremely low humidity air. So it's going to be so comfortable. We will see temperatures starting to climb again with more sunshine in the middle of next week in your union home mortgage forecast. Just in time for fall, unofficial fall. Unofficial start of fall, yeah. unofficial end of summer. Yeah. That means spring's right around the corner, doesn't it? Sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll Just go. Don't skip fall. <laughs> fall is nice. You have to dress like fall. I have to.